about to walk through that door is everyone's favourite Geordie. It's Nathan Henry! Hi, Sam. Yes, oh, see how lovely, what a lovely hello. Oh. Listen, I am so bad at being single. Like, dating-wise, I, like, I don't know how to talk to boys. I get really goofy around them. I, like, say stupid sh I don't want to be very inappropriate. I want to be, I want to learn from this. No, you be, be you, though, as well. I want someone, realistically, like a man, who's going to be able to throw me around, like, Put me in my place and stuff. That's gonna be like, really hard. Well, exactly. <laughs> you you are like six foot two. <laughs> right. but, wait, wait, wait. Have you had any boyfriends before? I've had only had two. Okay. Yeah. And how long did they last? So the first one was nine months, and then he turned around and said that he didn't love me. <gasps> and then yeah, and then the second one was four years. Four years. And then he towards the end turned around and said, look, I love you, but I I'm not in love you. with you anymore. Oh, so, oh. So, this, so this is what's made me feel, like, I feel like I'm unlovable. What, wait, wait, is that really hurt your confidence then? Well, yeah, because after that. that happened, then I just stopped talking, like when the first one did it, I didn't talk to any boys for three years. And then wow. I met my, my ex and then he said it and then it like, really knocked my confidence. So like, I need to build that back up again. Like, but then I've built up a wall. So when I'm talking to people, I don't want to be vulnerable. But there's no problem with that. Cause you know what? You start this experience with all your flaws and everything. And these guys, the agents, yeah. okay. I'm, I'm not joking. They're so good. And they help you break that wall down. I promise you it, it, it gets good. Mate, well, I would like sure. to leave here with being confident, potentially a boyfriend, but if I don't have a boyfriend, that's fine but just feeling me again. What turns you off? What are you like Turns now? me off? Yeah, off. What are you like now? That is just not, I don't want to be here. But bad breath, can't stand so that. So true. Bad breath, like bad. I've got these three things that you need to like. You need to like Disney, David Attenborough and Harry Potter. Disney, um, Harry Potter. Do you like it? I've got two of them already. Do you like David Attenborough as well? He's my hero. I've met him before. He's he's an you sounds You'd probably be my dream boyfriend. Yeah, but I'm too small. It's all right, get you some platforms. Oh, come on! <laughs> but I've yes, picked a boy out for that before, though. Really? Yeah, you're like, no, like I put Disney on. He went, "What's this?" And I went, "Get out of my house." I was just like, "Get out!" I'm not so ruthless. So you've met all the other uh, members of the agency, yeah. all the other people coming in. Okay, who's your favourite so far? In ADC, I love her. She's a savage. Like, to explain, what do you right, mean? She did this, right, when we were all stood round, which, <laughs> like, it lit, like, I was shook when she did it. So we stood there, and then I went to go cheers her, and, like, she was like, no, you don't cheers, like, you raise a glass, kind of thing. And I was like, oh, sorry, and then Jack knew what she meant. And then she was like, your mother raised you well to Jack. And I was like, my mum's taught me good manners, actually, the say thank you. I'd love to go on a double date with her. That is so Because I feel good. like she'd grill them, and I'd be very happy with the person she probably chose for me. What would be your ideal date? Fun and spontaneous, but out of the blue. Really? That I would never, I don't want to sit down and have food and I don't want to go for drinks, so I do that already. Hi. You alright, Nathan? Tell me us. Oh. Nice to see you, I'm Drake. I'm nervous. I mean, I'm Nathan. Great start, Nathan. Okay, last question. Date's gone well and you want to go for a kiss. Yeah. Right. How do you do it? Are we a lunger or are we, a, are we an asker? I'm an asker. I would never lunge. Because you can get swerved. Well, like, imagine if you go in and they're like, well, what are you doing? I'd be like, no, but then they went in for me and I wasn't ready for it. Would you do it out of politeness? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Sometimes if you lunch, it's a good thing because you can't really say no. Yeah. Anyway, mate, I cannot wait to watch you, okay? And I hope you do get a double date with Lady C because it sounds like it's going to be hilarious, mate. Bring it in. You're a legend.